So what happens if after the divorce you want to move and it might be uh, a fair bit of distance away from where you currently live and where the kids go to school? How does that impact your parenting plan? Or what happens if the kids are kind of getting older and so you realize if you build a parenting plan now that it might not be sufficient as they grow older because their views and preferences may change. What do you do? Or what happens if one or both of you have a new partner in the mix and how, does that impact your parenting plan in any way? There are these and many other questions that you might have in your mind as you're approaching your divorce settlement. And that's really one of the big beauties of mediation because in mediation, you can come up with whatever plan suits your family's specific needs. And that's a really great thing because you might have some unique family circumstances that require you to be kind of thinking outside of the box in terms of what's gonna work for you moving forward. Whereas when you're in court, you're stuck with whatever that judge orders for your family to follow. And that's not really fun because that judge has just met you for that day. They don't know all of your special circumstances and they may not really know what's best for your family. So it's always a good idea to try mediation. And again, the fact that you have flexibility in mediation, the fact that it's a more amicable process, and it's really a situation where the two of you are working together to come up with a win-win scenario where both of you, while you may not be completely happy, you can certainly live with what the end result is of the settlement. That's why mediation is always a better route. So food for thought. Have a great day.